Uh, you know, I think the fundraising aspect is really the biggest aspect of it all because really what goes on behind the curtain of political elections is do you have the infrastructure and the organization in place to actually make the real run to be president? Um, so I think that that's really important. I don't think that that's something to be overlooked. I never did. And I, I, and I do believe that Newt's definitely sticking around for Georgia, so he's going to be around until Super Tuesday. How will that work out for him? I don't, I don't think well, but I still think he's definitely sticking around. I why, think, why do you think it won't work out? Uh, because I it's think... his home state. Uh, uh, oh, do, how, how, oh, no, he might do it. He, he might do okay in Georgia. Might. But he's, I think Super Tuesday is going to be a bad Tuesday for him in general. Well, can I, I, can I throw out a, a weird theory here? A because, weird, sure. Yeah, a weird theory. I think that because because Gingrich and Romney really went loggerheads for a, st a stretch of weeks there, very brutal. For example, in in South Carolina um, and and then Florida, where it was just really acrimonious. I'm wondering now if Newt Gingrich might just a little bit be root. I mean, he's not going to compete in either of the states tonight. I'm wondering if Newt is rooting for Romney to do well tonight, because if Rick Santorum has another good night. There is zero reason left, really, for anyone to vote for Newt Gingrich, right? Rick Santorum at that point is fully established as the not Romney. So if Romney has a good night and Newt did well in that most recent debate, maybe some of those, you know, more conservative voters are saying, okay, well, Santorum, he can't close the deal either. Maybe we'll take a look back at Newt Gingrich. I, I'm wondering what Team Newt is thinking tonight. What yeah. do you think? I, I, you know, I think, uh, I think Newt's done. Um, and, and I know what Newt himself has said is, you know, I, I was uh, declared dead by the press, then I was the guy, then I was declared dead again, I'm sticking around. The, the, the thing about Newt is, is that he has experience. I mean, he has been in Washington, D.C. He knows how to organize a political campaign. And he's got, you know, somebody with very deep pockets in the super PAC who, who is funding a lot of... With, without that person, I, I, I don't think he would have a campaign at Could all. Could you even compete with the amount of infrastructure and money the president will well, raise a, uh, without you know, the super PACs? Uh, 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 well, everybody's going to have super PACs, so it's, it's kind mm -hmm. of... It's irrelevant. I, and whether That's a change, by the way. Yeah, it is. I know it's a change, but... You know, I mean, in fairness, and I know that President Obama uh, has spoken out against him, the law is that uh, super PACs are allowed to exist. He's got to compete on the same playing field. So I know... Well, they, uh, I mean, he doesn't have to, though. His principle... Well, yes, he, he And he said, he said, you know, you have to do what's right even when it's hard, even when it's inconvenient. And then the split second it became inconvenient for him to stick by his principles against outside money. Surprise! He's for outside uh, money. This, is, this guy does it every single time. His only principle is winning elections and hanging on to power. That trumps everything I Barack know, Obama. I, I think that that's an oversimplification of the super PAC money. I mean, if you don't... Is it? Yes, of course. If you don't have it, I mean, you, you, you squarely get beat. I mean, what I believe is that... And, and, I, and I've said this about social media. I said it during the last election, too, is that what Obama's able to do by raising a dollar and two dollars and three dollars... I'm sure you're on his mailing list just to see what he does is remarkable without super PAC money. But it doesn't make a difference. Without that super PAC money, you can't compete. Ron First of all, Paul you, you realize had the same machine of the one dollar, five dollar, ten dollars. Yep. Well, it's people involved. Maybe they show up to vote as a result. Yeah, I mean, look, Barack Obama is very adept at fundraising. There's no question about that. Democrats and their allies have outspent Republicans over the last two election cycles, 08 and 2010, by tens of millions of dollars. It has not even been close. Republicans have used super PACs to try to even come close to leveling uh, the, the playing field. And look, I'm with you, Eric. I think it completely makes political nuts and bolts sense for, pres to, for President Obama to abandon his principles and, and support super PACs. The problem is, just spare me the sanctimony. He did the same thing with public funding for elections in 2008, where he pledged that he would take it if the Republican agreed to it. John McCain said, all right, let's do it, because McCain was a champion of campaign finance reform, and then Barack Obama looked at his balance sheet and said, oh, wow, I can raise bucket loads more money if I throw out my promise. So he did. So, I mean, that's the whole thing. Stop posing like you're some sort of good government, wonderful, clean and pure outsider, and then the second that it doesn't suit your interests anymore, you throw it in the gutter and move on. Just It's the sanctimony and the hypocrisy that drives me nuts, and I think it shows that the whole hope and change outsider thing was a complete put on and a fraud from day one. Well, 
Um, <laughs> Eric's you, gonna take issue. With ah, that. you paraphrase everything I say and you make it sound right because you're smarter than me. Um, I, you know, I, I I I think that you know, look, hope and change. Uh, the country right now doesn't have a lot of hope. Unfortunately, we're pessimistic because there's a lot of numbers to tell us to be pessimistic, and that's just right. bad news. So you can't ha you can't run on hope anymore because we did, we hoped, and it went bad for us. And the whole thing about change was that was a good theory. You know, you know, if you've ever been in, 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 you know in Washington D.C., that whole theory about change and the bureaucracy and inside the Beltway, you got to go in there and you got to play with the big boys the way that they play in Washington until someday that it is changed. But that has not happened in my lifetime. So, you know, change, it, it was a great theory. I think Obama got into town and found out, uh, I can't get anything done by changing. I, I got to play by the rules that, are, that, as they've always been conducted inside of Washington. It, it is politics and, and, as usual.